it, see? Now, had you done that in front of yourself? All right, now, when he looks to be relaxed, turn it off. See, he's not going to go into the hose. Oh, don't follow him with it. Hold him. There you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Turn it off. Good. Now, tell him, whoa. Whoa. Take right a hold up there. But then he had too much lead line and said, okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> yes. Yes. And don't hesitate to drop this. It's okay. Yeah. Just drop it, regroup, and start over. Okay. There's no harm in it. Once you feel that he's relaxed, we're going to proceed changing hands because you want to be able to effectively turn it on and off on both sides of them, right? Yes. Now just bring the hose straight forward under his nose so he can relax again about it. Good. See if he'll come down to it. Bring your shoulders down. There you go. Good. Switch hands because that means we're switching sides, right? And proceed the same way you started with, with it behind your back. Without turning it on. Get your shoulders, get everything about you staring at his feet. See, his head came down with you. And then withdraw, because he didn't get upset. Now, do it again. Make sure. Now move it parallel, back and forth. Get in the same position. Keep your shoulders low. Keep everything about you low. Parallel, parallel. So, your next movement <coughs> is with your down low like that, your objective is to spray his feet only, okay, just that gentle stream. But you're going to introduce it exactly what, how we've just taught him to accept it, right? So, you're going to start here, down low, you're going to be looking at his feet, turn it on. If he flinches, don't proceed. If he... No. He's listening to me. There you go. Good. That's it. So you're going to turn it on over here. Then bring it in down low in that parallel movement we just did. Until you hit his feet. Good. Now continue. Go ahead. Good. Take a break. Because he was entirely accepting. But you see his uh, neck starting to tense up just a little. Oh, see, now he's stepping to you. There you go. He goes, you know, that felt kind of good. <laughs> so this time, bring it in the same way. I want you to just bring it up toward his knees just a little bit. Good. There's nothing like a good hot day either to do this. I know. Good, Wendy, and just keep going up the leg like that. Start with the foot and spray up and down now. Up and down. Good. As long as you still, you withdraw. Perfect. Perfect. down until you get yep and I always aim for the chest first because that's where it feels the best and that's where they cool down the best there you go and then you just slowly see the line where his neck comes in that shoulder angle there yep not too far back on the body stay up more toward the neck you feel him flinch yep so get him totally accepting the front end first. Perfect. 
You see, it's not about the water. It's about our approach. They're yeah. scared and you continue forward. Forward yeah. means run away. All right, let's switch hands and do that with your left hand. Same thing, turn him a little bit so that you have access. Good. Whoa, he says. And you can hose me down. Yes. Good, that's it, yeah. Oh, don't, yeah, don't mm -hmm. let him move that way. If he wants to move somewhere, there, you tell him where to go. All right, so take it right back to, give him a good yank. Make him get off his feet. Okay. There you go. Turn him sideways. See, he's using that big old neck. Give him a good firm tug sideways, sideways. Get him off balance. He's stronger than me. Yes. Good boy. Because momentum said, oh, i got to catch my balance. When you pull down, he goes straight up. That's where all of, all of his weight is and all of his strength. Okay? So he's showing me his teeth. Oh, my God, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> so can then bring it down to, you can toss him side to side with a top. Now, don't go there. Also, the side to side. There's no downward pressure on the pole, so you're not going to hurt anything here. So, so you continue that until you have control with the butterfly. Huh? Stop arguing. And you bring it way down. And you push him side to side, moving feet side to side. So that always have to remember to take the pressure back down again. Yeah. Give him the chance. Do you see? I slide up here, Wendy. This is the hard thing for you. I slide up here and push him around. But then I release immediately, see? Because I got lots of time while he's off balance. So I can let go. He's off balance trying to get his feet under him. Then I can come back up and grab again. Okay. Okay. So it's as if I'm throwing him. And he's getting lighter and lighter. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. That is a good boy. Now, so I need you to do that. Okay. You can't do anything with a horse who's taking your back and trying to pull your body. Okay. So start out low. If he gives it to you, good. Good. Let me see. Right, now make sure it's sideways movement, not forward. You don't want to pull him into your space. Good. Especially if he's anxious, you don't want him learning to come to you. Good. All right, now reposition him there without picking up the hose. Take him back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Line him up again, same thing. Start with a little bit of pressure. Now I want you to move him back and forth. Get those front feet crossing right over. With minimum amount of pressure, if possible. Good. There, see, he hesitated to put that foot down that time. He wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Where does she want me to put it? 
the last thing you want to do is deal with this and your horse throwing his neck and yeah. going away from you. Okay. And I can't tell you the number of times I've had to drop the hose and it lands on the valve and now it's right. spraying oh, up behind me. Yeah. You know, and the horse is freaking out because yeah. we're in a rain shower. Good. Matthew appears. Yeah, do a couple more movements. Just prove to him that you can make his feet move. And the lighter the touch, the better. But the instant he starts pulling on you when you pick that nice. hose back up, Wendy, drop the hose and practice this sideways thing. Turn your shoulders, turn your feet toward him. Go. And you're, you're pulling away from yourself. Okay. But it takes away all of his strength. And after you've removed their strength from them, they're way more respectful. <laughs> but it's sideways down. Okay. Well, sideways parallel, parallel to the ground. Okay. Wherever your hand is now. down until he stops even looking that way, turn his head toward you. He has to confront the issue, not run away from it. Okay. You're mm. teaching him how to confront his fears and not turn it into stubbornness. Good. 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 Okay, I just hit that. Um, yeah. No biting. Alright. Now, when you turn that on, I want you to have his head over here. You understand what I mean? Yes. Block it like you did over here. Remember your body was blocked here initially? Here he's got a wide open space. Okay. Can you position him so that the butt towards the room? There. So, so you're blocking his exit. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Got it. Understand? Another way to remove his power. See? You're in his way now. That doesn't mean he can't blow through you, but. Okay, and continue now until he comes back to a relaxed state. See if you can bring him to a relaxed, there you go. See, now you've, you've redirected his thought pattern. Good. That's right. Now that was a signal that says, I think I would like to move, but she's not going to let me yeah. release that. Yeah. Boy, you did that in the nick of time. See how you were resting on that lead line? Pull him back to midline. And if anything, when you're on that side, you want him to face just to, just tip his head just a little bit to the outside. That way, if he goes somewhere, he's going this way, and that's going to be better for you. Balance wise. Good. Release. Make sure there's no pressure on that. There you go. All right. When you feel he's ready, turn it off and do your parallel movements. Go repeat the same movement. Good. And I would turn it off at this point. Good. Now, when you bring it in, if you're going to hose that leg, you bring it in while it's on. Hit the hoof first, you know, so it's, so all of your movements, there's not one movement that's at him. Because still, at the second you go at this horse right now, he's going to take off. But what you're doing, don't pull down on that lead line. Careful, careful. There you go. If he feels like he can move because you don't have a hold of the lead line, he won't move. It's that okay. thing, remember? If they think they can get away, they usually won't bother, unless they're really afraid. Good. Now, there was no flinch there at all, so go ahead and go up to his kneecap and back down to his foot. Up and down movement. Good. So you know you can you know you can cool your whole horse down just by hosing chest and under the neck, right? So as you guys practice this, he is nicking. Because yeah, well, it actually feels kind of good. Okay. Careful of the pressure on that halter. I know you don't think you have much, but it's too much. 
tail. There should be a little bit of slack in that lead line. So just pick up your arm. There you go. Because now, because he, look, he even rested his back leg. All right? So part of that was your release of the lead line. Even though you're not pulling on it, any amount of weight there is a pressure signal. Go ahead and start it again. Oh, come on. It splashed the ground. Oh, now he's going to go to sleep, but hmm, not so bad after all. So go ahead and go up the shoulder line on the other side, but don't spray toward his butt. Keep it directed yet. So that's what you're going to do. You see him getting a little tense now because yeah. you moved where you were? So you go up a half an inch and come back down until he stops coming up. That's the key that says, okay, now I can go the next half an inch and the next half an inch. Yeah. That coming up like this says, Too much. Row, then you, so you retrace. Don't withdraw necessarily. Sometimes you might choose to withdraw if all of a sudden he flinches, pose for a millisecond, and withdraw. Okay. If he comes up, every time that hose comes up to a new spot, you just proceed back down the trail you came from. Okay. Come back up. To the same point, every time he comes like this, you stop right there. Okay. The danger is when you go beyond where he tells you he's uncomfortable. Because okay. this means, rut row, I could be in trouble. So you're not withdrawing to reward. You're just backing down, retreating to the same spot he was comfortable. So you keep moving his comfort spot higher and higher and higher. And as long as he's standing still and there's no pressure on him, then you can end up doing the entire body, scrubbing tail, putting his tail in a wash bucket, etc., without him moving. Because you've caught him each time where the comfort level is. Mm -hmm. And by not pushing it to a point where he has to move away from it, then you don't have to deal with all this other 